For more than 135 years, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has had a mission to work on navigation issues in the Hampton Roads region. And as that mission expanded to other tributaries in the Commonwealth, the field office established in Norfolk became a district in 1908. Today, we work to deliver water resource solutions, military construction, interagency support, environmental programs, and disaster response, which make our communities, the Commonwealth, and our nation a better place to work and live. Our staff of architects, engineers, economists, lawyers, scientists, surveyors, and a wide range of support personnel work out of our headquarters at historic Fort Norfolk, one of the best preserved forts from the War of 1812, and at strategically placed field offices throughout the Commonwealth. We tackle some of the toughest water resource problems in the world and design and build world-class military facilities for the Army and Air Force. Our Civil Works responsibilities cover more than 21,000 square miles throughout six watersheds in Virginia. From maintaining the oldest working canal in the nation to designing and dredging the East Coast's deepest channels, which supports the Port of Virginia and the largest naval base in the Western Hemisphere, the district's navigation mission continues to keep the nation strong in both commerce and military might. Because of our efforts with dredging, debris removal, and surveying the federal navigation channels, the Port of Virginia continues to accommodate the largest cargo ships in the world. We are building the deepest channels and harbors on the east coast of the U.S. with a channel that is 55 to 58 feet in sections and wide enough to allow these large vessels the ability to pass one another safely. These efforts also support the U.S. Navy's largest naval base, allowing the fleet of warships safe passage in and out of port. We also work to maintain many economically viable shallow draft channels as well. With more than 70 federally authorized navigation projects throughout the Commonwealth, these shallow draft waterways allow Virginia's watermen and women to safely navigate to and from crabbing locations, oyster grounds, and fishing spots. In addition, U.S. Coast Guard vessels can respond to search and rescue missions from their locations in these shallower tributaries. The district is responsible for two canals which are a part of the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway. The Dismal Swamp Canal, originally surveyed by George Washington, the waterway is the oldest continuing operating canal in the nation. Just to the east of the Dismal Swamp Canal, the district also maintains and operates the Albemarle and Chesapeake Canal. The canal is about twice as deep as the Dismal Swamp Canal and allows barges carrying fuel, rock, and other supplies to traverse north and south without having to enter the open ocean. With 132 miles of coastline, 7,213 miles of tidal shoreline, Virginia is vulnerable to coastal storms, tidal flooding, and riverine flooding. Along the coast in Virginia Beach, we've protected Virginia homes and businesses with the Virginia Beach Hurricane and Storm Damage Reduction Project, where millions of dollars in storm damage have been averted. In the state capital, the Richmond flood wall protects low-lying areas from the waters of the James River, which in 1972 rose up to 30.76 feet during Hurricane Agnes. We maintain and operate Gathright Dam, a 257-foot tall, 1,310-foot long earthen dam which protects communities downstream along the Jackson River. Our floodplain management section works with the Commonwealth of Virginia, other federal agencies, and local communities to study flood risks and develop solutions, both structural, like levees, flood walls, and bulkheads, and non-structural, like living shorelines, raising house elevations, or abandonment for communities in areas susceptible to flooding. Our dedicated staff of biologists, environmental scientists, and support personnel evaluates permit applications from both private citizens and large corporations to balance the needs for growth while protecting the environment throughout the entire Commonwealth of Virginia. This group of employees processes on average more than 2,000 regulatory actions per year. Across the nation, we assist when Mother Nature releases its fury. We deploy personnel to impacted areas to provide technical skill and support emergency response efforts when the President declares a federal natural disaster. We have deployed to locations like Puerto Rico, Florida, Texas for hurricane response, and California for wildfires. We help communities rebuild their lives. We support our men and women in uniform. We design and oversee construction and renovation projects at nine Army and Air Force installations throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia, as well as an Army ammunition plant in Tennessee. At Fort A.P. Hill, Langley Air Force Base, Defense Supply Center Richmond, Fort Eustis, Fort Pickett, Fort Lee, the National Ground Intelligence Center in Charlottesville, Virginia, Radford Army Ammunition Plant, Holston Army Ammunition Plant, as well as Arlington National Cemetery, we oversee the construction of state-of-the-art facilities at all of these installations. We are honored to be partners with Arlington National Cemetery, where we have restored the Tomb of the Unknowns, expanded the cemetery's ability to intern and inurn our nation's heroes, as well as update their visitor center and administration building. 
We are the Army's Continental United States Center for Standardization for seven military design and construction programs. This program creates standard design for specific facilities throughout the nation. We are the lead agency for the Department of Defense Education Activity Design Center, a collaborative team of architects, engineers, and designers, as well as private industry firms located throughout the world. Through renovation, maintenance, and new construction, this team is charged with upgrading outdated DODIA schools which serve 78,000 school-aged children of military members across the globe. Our real estate section manages timber harvesting at multiple military posts, leases recruiting facilities for the military services around the Commonwealth, assists in acquiring rental properties for military personnel who are stationed here on a recruiting duty. Additionally, we manage the privatization of military housing and army lodging, which improves the quality of life for military members and their families. We assist other federal agencies as well. We have helped solve many of the water resource and construction issues for NASA, NOAA, EPA, the Veterans Administration, the Department of State, and the National Park Service. We are also studying and working towards solutions for areas that face the effect of climate change and sea level rise. From the southernmost points in Florida to our home here in Norfolk, our team is working to devise ways to mitigate, stop, and retreat from rising seas and subsiding land. Our professionals work to make this great nation a better, more resilient place to live, work, and play for our service members and you. We are the Norfolk District, and it is what we do.